Well, sat here overlooking Castletown Golf Course on the Isle of Man, I have here what I think is the most amazing piece of engineering I've ever seen, a micro jet. Courtney Headings, this is something else. I mean, we're used to seeing these hanging off the bottom of jets, weighing about 10 tonnes. How on earth do you build one of those? Uh, well, I don't build it, but the Bladen brothers invented this. They came up with it after 20-odd uh, years of struggle, and they cracked one piece. The critical piece of this engine, which makes it small, is this blade disc. So this is a blisk, as we call it. What uh, Chris and Paul worked out was you needed to cut this out of one piece. So that way you needed not to cut it with a conventional cutting action, but to spark erode it. So you're effectively passing a current into this in an oil bath and picking the metal out of the gaps. So you can reproduce it accurately. It's in balance, but it's not ripped in a normal way of cutting. But you've got yeah. a use for it, or Jaguar have, I Yeah, understand. we've got a number of uses, but the first one, we were lucky that Jaguar Land Rover approached us. They were looking at how the automotive market is changing. They wanted a hybrid electric car, but they wanted something that was light, that would charge their batteries on the go. And this is, we think, the solution compared to the piston engine. So if you're on a journey and you can't get home, or your battery goes flat, yep. this could be the answer. Yeah. Well, the fear is what will stop you even buying the car, because you think uh, things like range anxiety, they stop you actually starting a journey or even buying the car. Mm. But if you have something that halfway home can charge a battery up, you don't have to go and plug it in, but you can use conventional fuels for this to charge the battery. So it gets you home. It's, it's a range extender. What can this run on, fuel-wise? Anything. We've got a bet in the company that not only can it run on diesel, petrol, biofuels, but they say it can run on chip fat. We've got the um, TT Zero here, which is yep. all about battery bikes. Um, something like this, it could be utilised on a motorcycle. I guess you can make any size you want now. You could. We have a number of sizes. This one is geared more to the Jaguar Land Rover project, um, and obviously that's a certain weight matched to their car and their performance. But in bikes, this can scale down as well. The Bladen brothers, of course, they yep. were racers around this circuit. They certainly were. They raced here for the best part of 20 years. Chris started racing here in 73, raced here till 88 and they've got a great passion for the island. Well, we know the uh, Isle of Man government loves the clean emission side of things. Are they mm. going to support you with this? Well, they have already. I think you can get good access to them, but also they will plug you into other events they've got going on. They have capital grants, so they help you set up. So I presume it's cost quite a lot of money to get to this stage. Apart from blood, sweat and tears, probably about a million pounds. It looks so good. I'd want it on the roof of the car. And I think it's, it's more than big boys' toys, but it still appeals to uh, petrol heads. Well, I'm a petrol head and a child and I absolutely love it.